Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so I've been hearing reports that a few of you are still having problems with the home screen not appearing on your 4K Max Fire TV stick. Not sure if this is affecting other Fire TV sticks, but I'm pretty sure it's only the 4K Max. Now, a few people have mentioned to me ways that they've managed to resolve their problems, and my way was to basically go in, create a new profile. So we go into settings, go to account and profile, go down to profiles, create a new profile. So add a new profile, give it a uh, a, a name. Say for instance your initials. So uh, and then add the profile, and then go into that new profile and uh, leave it for a few moments and then what you do is you go back to this head and shoulders here come out and go into your original profile and hopefully after a few moments it should be restored it can take up to 10 minutes for the uh, the icons to uh, to come back then you go in and you just basically delete the profile that you created earlier or remove it and, uh, and that seemed to fix it for me. But others have found the other way that they've managed to fix it is to go across to the cog up there, go to account and profile settings, and where it's got Amazon account there and hello and then your name, just highlight that middle button on the remote control, deregister it, so middle button again to deregister, and uh, it gives you a warning here saying your device will be deregistered from your Amazon account. This may remove some content from your device and you'll be presented with a screen to register your device again. So it says to remove personal data, use reset to factory defaults in settings. Well, we don't want to do that. We just want to go to deregister. So there you go. It's deregistering the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. That should take a couple of moments. And then all we do is uh, we just log back in again. So I'll show you that in a sec once it's deregistered. Like I say, it might just take a few moments. Screen's gone blank. And there we go. So we're back to this screen here, which we got when we first set up the uh, the Fire TV stick. So I'm going to select have an account, sign in, middle button on the remote. And then what we do is we go to a browser, go to this address here, OK, and uh, enter that activation code down there when prompted on screen. OK, so I've gone to my web browser on my computer, i.e. Google Chrome. I could do this on my iPhone or iPad or Android phone or tablet. Just go to Chrome, Safari, Edge, whatever you use as your browser. Like I say, type in that code just there. Log in with the username and password you use for Amazon, the one that you've specifically got registered to the Fire TV stick. And then we just type in that code at the bottom of the screen there and then click or tap on continue on the uh, on the browser and there you go so it's registering it. it's now successfully registered and uh, it's just asking us to confirm so I'm just going to hit the middle button on the remote to continue and it's asking us do we want to save the Wi-Fi passwords it's entirely up to you whether you want to save them or not I'm going to say yes to that and uh, they get asked us to select our profile so I'm just going to select mine there just by pressing the middle button and there we go it's all back restored and hopefully our apps should have restored as well although this favorites bar up the top there might have changed but when i've gone into my apps just there all of the apps are still present they're just in a different order even the apps that i've side loaded onto the fire tv stick have still remained and i know this was working on mine before but hopefully you should have your home screen back. Let us know if this worked or not for you. Let us know what type of Fire TV stick you've got and let us know generally if you've still got the problem or if you've managed to solve it in another way, how you solved it. Everything you write in the comments could potentially help other users. Thanks for watching and fingers crossed you've got this sorted. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.